some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Middleton, New York at the uh, local community college with Good Guy Audits. Uh, not a very interesting place for you to go, dude, because, you know, you're a high school dropout. I mean, what good would that place do for you anyway? Well, anyway, he tries to get into a locked portion of the college and is crying about his rights being violated and all that other garbage. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I came, I'm... Oh, uh, no, I don't. Okay, so what's the YouTube You kind of walked away and ended the conversation, so... Sorry, I was in the middle of a conference call. Yeah. And I had a phone call. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it that way. It's okay. But I just was curious what the name of your channel was. Um, I'm sure you'll hear about it. It's pretty big. Sure. What's it called? Um, I don't know if I want to give it out. I, I'm just curious about what you're doing. It's called Good Guy Audits. Oh, okay. You can find Good it. Guy Audits? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just was curious because I'm, um, you know, you're filming me and I was like, oh, he's, he's talking about, um, you know, transparency between governments and people and the rights. And I just was curious if you had other stuff on there because it seems yeah. like you film everything. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. But this guy is a high school dropout who's probably going to be inquiring on how to become a soon-to-be college dropout. Because, you know, he wants to uh, elevate himself in life, but he just needs that guidance. So. Yeah, I've been in a lot of places. Yeah. I was just at the um, city hall. Oh, really? I've been to the town hall here. Okay. Um, I just did the Department of Labor. Okay. In Bosies. I was actually going back to Bosies to see if I could get the lady's name that treated me badly because it's about accountability oh she treated you badly yeah she's very rude to me okay like i understand if let's say if i didn't have the right to record there and i uh -huh. couldn't record there right and you were indeed in fact mm -hmm. a private business which she said that she was mm -hmm. which is a lie um you still treat the public with respect yeah at all times yeah you know to raise your voice and to be yeah. rude and nasty that's uncalled for yeah and, and you know and the thing is is respect goes both ways too yeah, I'm, you I'm, know have i been disrespectful um, no 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 I, I i what i wanted to bring up was i was thinking about it is that um especially after the COVID epidemic mm -hmm. hit um a lot of people have been doing a lot more with a lot less resources and it's easy to get frustrated and it's not even reflected on that person that you're working with. I am just going to go ahead and skip to the next part of the video because this conversation really doesn't lead anywhere. So here we go. 15 minutes later. So you call the police on a constitutionally protected activity. And I don't think that's right. And I don't like the way I was treated. See what the complaint process is. I see if they even let me in. Hi. Are you gonna let me in? She said, don't open it, don't open it. Well, the original video had some rather shady editing, so you don't know what kind of antics this guy was up to before to warrant them calling the cops on him. But I can understand why they would want to shut the doors on him if they, if he was acting in his usual self. Let's see if we can go 
going through the exit. Not an entrance to this door to exit only. We're gonna go stand at the entrance and see. Um, I don't think they're, they know about the US Code 242, deprivation of public services. Uh, no, dumbass. That's not deprivation of services. That's deprivation of rights under the color of law. And that has to do with civil rights, you bloody moron. And besides, this is the community college. They have no services to offer you unless you actually want to attend that college, which you being a high school dropout, you would have no need of their services unless you get a GED so you can get into that college. Um, so, yeah. Hey, Davy boy, uh, I think it's about time for you to kick rocks because, you know, I don't think you're welcome here. Uh, most people would have gotten the point by now, but you're a special case, aren't you? Yes, can I talk to you? This guy, have a word. Do you know what? Why not? Miss. Poor little Davy boy kicked out of the Coast Guard facility and not allowed into the community college. You know, you just got to take a look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, am I the problem? But you know what? That would require a certain level of introspection, which I don't think you even have. Miss, do you know what, you know what U.S. Code 242 is? Miss, you know what deprivation of public services is? Excuse me. Miss, you deny me public services? She said that I try to enter through the exit. Okay. So what? All right, we'll just find out their names. We have the phone number, so we'll have to go through it that way. Well, there you have it, folks. Poor little Davy boy, not fit to be a firefighter, not fit for the Coast Guard, and certainly not fit for community college. Whoa, boy, whatever shall he do? Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.